My name is Muna. I was born in Hong Kong. We were supposed to stay white little yellow girls, but as white as possible. Chinese women, Japanese women, you know, you look at the tail of Ganji, they have this super long hair because Asian women did not cut their hair. What if I had no hair? Would I still be beautiful? Would I still be feminine? So one of my grandmothers had started out with bound feet, and she later liberated her own feet um, and threw away the shoes and the bindings. And so it was very much in my kind of um, blood memory. I was fascinated by the shape of the nylon stocking hanging, that it had the shape of their legs. I don't know why I remember that so well, but in some ways, maybe that's kind of like the first impression for me to be a performer. So three months later, I had enough money, I thought, for a year in New York. Because I knew I had the apartment in East Village. Apartment was $85 a month on East Fifth Street between First and Second Avenues. The subway was 75 cents and with free transfer. Moved into East Village, dreaming of like, you know, going here for class and, and going to see shows here and getting to know the neighborhood. Um, and then moving into uh, my own apartment. So I got a job as a dancer with Jean Erdman and Theater of the Open Eye. Well, the amazing 1943 classic, Transformations of Medusa. That was the first solo, actually, that she gave me to learn. She was 65 then, and I'm 70 now. Medusa, oh Medusa, you offer us a proto-feminist look at female power, mythologized and contemporary at once. But looking at both works with you now, I see a similarity. They both try to say the most with the least. And Stella started with objects, with dresses and shoes and handbags and handkerchiefs and stuff. This is a rehearsal of Stella that we're watching. You know, I had this very long and complicated relationship with my mother. 
so God help me. Why would I want to make a piece about her? And I found she ended up going into only the emotional states. The only photograph I knew of my grandfather was on his gravestone. I had to make a special trip to Hong Kong to photograph it. How do we know what is true? And does it matter? So I call the piece, It's All True. 